Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my channel. My name is Karate Mario and today we are doing a video in Scratch. Now Scratch is a program where you can program programs. Um, and yes, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make a raycaster. Now a raycaster is kind of like an old fashioned um, first person game. Um, it's quite simple and we're just going to jump straight into this. So what you want to start off by doing is just create your map. I'm going to make a very simple map here. Make sure that you fill the out the outsides in. Um, make some boxes like this. You know, some normal stuff. Uh, yeah, like that. Maybe a bit of that. Some of that. That, some of that, maybe a bit of that in there, and then there. There we go. So that will be our map, and you want to set it to zero, zero, and change its ghost effect. Actually set its ghost effect to 100. Um, so what I'll do is it will get to the center and it will change it to ghost effect. Now ghost effect is kind of like hiding it apart from you can still interact with things. You can get rid of this. The only important part now is the ghost effect. Okay now onto the tricky bit. You want to create yourself a new sprite, zoom all the way in and add a little dot in the centre there. So when we zoom out, look, that's how big it is. Um, now you also want to make this go to the centre, so we'll go 0, 0, so you know it's there. You can actually move it around to any different point on the map. We're just going to start it off in the centre, um, and yeah, we're also going to make this right. When it starts, you want to set the pen size let's get that set the pen size to 5 then set the pen color to where you want I'm just going to go with the green that it's already given me we've already set it to 0, 0 we do want to set it to point in direction 90 or point in direction whichever way you want it to face on the side I'll just go with 90 because you know and then very important this otherwise it will crash set ghost effect to 100. Uh, yeah, it will crash because, you know, it's kind of, can't handle it. So let's set x as a new variable and y um, and direction. Direction. There we go. So let's set all of these to what they should be, but set direction to 90, set x to 0, and set y to 0. Now obviously these will change where you want it to start and that what not. Um, so yes, then we want to have a forever loop where we have I'm just going to add that in just in case it doesn't work. Make a block. Now I'm going to make one called move. Um, yeah, run without screen refresh, although we don't really need to do that, but we will anyway. Um, yeah, move like so. Let's set x. Um, so set x to x. Then set y to y and point in direction direction. There we go. Um, so we want to create a simple thing. So if uh, key uh, we're going to use WSD. So keep W as pressed. Move one step. And then if 
touching edge move minus one step and then we're going to do the same with S so we're going to do this change it to S but then do the reverse so that's going to be minus one and that is going to be normal one um, then A here um, we want to rotate it so A we're going to rotate it this way five degrees and then if it's touching the edge rotate that way five degrees and then D you just want to switch it switch around like that so that failed switch around so it's the opposite way around so that one's going that way and that way this one's going that way and that way then you want to set the X here X to X position Y to Y position and guess what guess what set direction to direction there we go now we need to move on to the next part which is render render now options this is extremely important run without screen refresh you need to click on this make sure it's ticked if you didn't you can just right click on edit there we go you can just change it there so yes render we put in after there so we're going to create a new variable and call it scan and set scan to minus 240 um, and clear there we go now you want to repeat this 120 times um, so I'm going to get this part of the code and just plop it in there um, although in this part we need plus there and then divide and then put direction on the end of it and put scan in there with 4 so scan divided by 4 plus direction and then create a new variable called ray um, we want to set ray to 40 here and then now repeat until touching map well sprite one it's called here we're gonna rename that call it map there we go repeat until touching map move one step only one step then if not equals we need to put a equals in here ray and then zero if not ray equals zero then change ray by minus one uh, now we need a go to so without your go to not goku not super saiyan go to just just go to i don't know what that was like um then we want this to be scan and then this one will be a times so we want ray times by three and set pen shade here to ray times let's say two ray times two um pen down and then change y so let's say change y by ray times uh minus six let's go minus six this will probably work i don't know pen up now and change scan by 
four. So if we test this out now quickly. Ah, we've got one part of it. Um, now, the reason why the rest of it is not coming up, I do not know. We have everything all sorted. Change standby four. That's what we need. So now this is all up and working. You have your raycaster here. You can see you can move around. Got a nice sort of maze like area here. We can turn left and right with the with the keys. Um, yeah. Also you can move backwards as well. And wall collisions are working. Yep, yeah, so you can't walk into a wall. You try that. You can't go any further. You just get stuck against the wall. Um no, apparently you, you walk through the wall. Ah, no, this needs to be touch and map. Not edge. Ah, there we go. That's where we went wrong. Touch and map. There. Now if we walk into the wall, we can't go any further. We just get stuck up against the wall. Perfect. <laughs> right. Uh, there you go. You now have yourself a nice working raycaster. It has a few bugs as you can tell if you walk up to a wall you get that line. For some reason I don't know how that happens and I don't know why it works like that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already seen more awesome gaming content like this. Um, I upload videos weekly, um, sometimes twice a week, um, but generally weekly. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!